And welcome back to City Life. Now it's time to take the tram into Melbourne CBD to visit a cosy little Italian restaurant called Italy One. And here's Paul to show you around. Tucked away in George Parade in a lane just off Collins Street behind the Grand Hyatt is this tiny hidden treasure, Italy One. Sophisticated and incurably romantic, this seductive little restaurant serves some of Melbourne's finest Italian cuisine in casually elegant surroundings. It's time to talk about the menu now here at Italy One and I'm with Rowan. Rowan's the head chef. Now Rowan, what can you tell us about the beautiful dishes that you've prepared for us? Well, this is just a sample of uh, the style of food that we like to do here at Italy One. We are we take an, 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 our uh, Italian theme and uh, use the best seasonal produce that Melbourne has to try and produce, produce a great cuisine. Uh, this is an example of it for you. I've got the, uh, to start off with, the Tom Cooper smoked salmon. Tom's a local supplier who provides great, great smoked pro uh, products. Um, here we use it with a simple lemon mayonnaise. Some nice fresh fennel and herbs to cut through the oiliness of the salmon. Oh, nice. And finish it off with some croutons for texture. Also we have a wild rabbit salt and bocca. As we move into autumn, you know you want to get back to your earthy type flavours. Yep. That's what we've tried to do here with the, uh, the slightly gaminess of the, uh, of the rabbit. Yep. And also the Jerusalem artichokes with a touch of the pears for sweetness. Just to give a bit of balance to the dish. And moving over to the main course that we've got, we've got the uh, prawn ravioli here, which is a bit of a signature of Italy one. It's, uh, it's made with a nice fish mousse, um, uh, very light in texture. And then we've added some studded, some studded um, or finely diced prawn meat just to give texture. And it's finished with a very rich bisque sauce uh, just to round off the dish. And the osso buco, which is uh, a classic Italian dish yep. uh, from Milan with the uh, traditional risotto milanese and the fresh gremolata just to lift the dish. For desserts. Yep. We have the traditional tiramisu and everybody's favourite, the lemon tart with a nice crunchy caramel coating there. We're here with Chris, the manager of Italy One. Now Chris, talk us through some of these wines and which wines would you recommend to have with the meals that we've just seen? Well, the, the philosophy we have here at Italy One is to, is to mix some old world traditional Italian varieties yep. with some uh, modern Victorian styles that uh, have been hitting the market over the last uh, 10 to 15 years or so. So with the smoked salmon that uh, we saw, we're serving a, a Massi Pinot Grigio, which is a very traditional uh, North Italian varietal, which offsets the uh, oiliness uh, that you will see in the salmon. Uh, with the cream and uh, the rabbit salt and bocca is, uh, is perfectly set off by the fresh Cabaldi uh, Chianti. It's a blend of Sangiovese and Merlot, Beautiful. which is a lovely delicate red wine that uh, in enhances uh, what we see on the plate. We're very lucky here in Melbourne uh, to be surrounded by uh, many uh, wine regions. We have the Melbourne Dress Circle of both the Peninsulas and the Yarra Valley. Um, so here we have some uh, Yarra Valley Chardonnay that we're serving with the prawn and saffron uh, ravioli and the uh, Mount Langley Cliff Edge which comes from uh, Ararat out in uh, Western Victoria. It goes beautifully with the uh, Osobuco and the Risotto Milanese. This is a, um, a Spanish sherry, it's a Pedro Jimenez uh, varietal which is a sweet black sherry which suits uh, chocolate desserts and, desserts and in particular the, the tiramisu that we've just seen. Mmm, yummy. Chris, Italy won. Loved it. Thank you very much and uh, cheers I guess. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Great to be here.